Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to test REST APIs in Postman. So, first of all you will have to know what Postman is, for that uh, if you don't know, you can uh, check out the check the I, I section or the description for the link. Then you will have to run the microservices in the Eclipse. So, so basically uh, to test the REST APIs, you will have to run um, the related microservice in the Eclipse. That is why I am starting Eclipse. And on the other side, I will start Postman also because I am going to need that to test the REST APIs. So what I'm going to basically test uh, for today, I'm taking degree service as the example and in degree service, I'm basically going to create new degrees, update degrees, delete degrees. For that case, in that case, I will have to register a new user and log in into it to get the bearer token. So for that, it is necessary for me to first, first run identity service. So I am going to open the identity service application.java file and then click on the run button to run it. Till it is running, let's come in the postman. So in the postman, I will have to uh, click on uh, select the identity service collection to create the law user in the user service post request and create new user with email so let me change the email it is still running So the identity service has run successfully. Now uh, I'm going to the postman. I will have to create a new or like register a new user. So I'm going to directly click on send. So my uh, new user is ready with the user ID 21. So for this, this data is basically getting stored in uh, a database. Right now there are different kind of database. For this purpose, I'm using MySQL Workbench. If you don't know what MySQL Workbench is, not a problem because I have also made a video on it. So, opening my connection. Now, uh, as I'm creating new user, I'll have to run the user folder. I mean, the table to check the update so uh, so right now i have got the with the user id 21 i have got hello one and the password so my user is saved now i can uh, log in the login so
send so right now i've got the success message as true and uh, i've got the token also so this is the token that i'm going to use for the uh, for creating degrees and doing other functions so i'm just going to save the the token in a sticky note i'm going to show you first the what uh, what will happen if i do not have the token first i'll just save it off okay and then now let's uh, uh run the degree service i'm going to stop the, the identity service I open up the degrees dot application dot java run it So the degree service has started successfully now i can go on to the postman and work with it so i no need the identity service collection because i have got the required token now opening i will just close the previous ones okay now so, so the first folder we have is create degrees so now in the first case i'm going to create degrees so I'm going to basically replace the token with the new token that I have got right now. So I'm going to copy the token, replace it. Make sure the port is uh, proper because for the degree service, the port is supposed to be 47, 47 or two. Then click on send. So right now uh, we are getting the success message as false that basically means that uh, a program is executing uh, properly but uh, the input is not proper therefore uh, so we are getting message that degree already exists so we'll have to create a new degree so let's give the degree name and the description let's change it so it basically depends more upon the degree name description can be same in many cases so i have changed it now uh, i'm supposed to get success message as true yeah we got it and uh, the message is gts degrees is added successfully let's check this out in the database if it is uh, really added so opening the gts degrees running it here we can see the uh, degrees 10 and degrees 20 is uh, ready with the customer care and the hospitality so it has updated in the database now the next function is degree name already exists you have saw, seen this error in the uh, previous one so i'm not going to test this out then uh, the degree name is not supposed to be empty so in this case uh, i have to replace the token and then send it so here we get the success message as false and the degree name should not be empty so that is the purpose of this request let's now uh, if you wish to get all the degrees uh, so we can select the get method and so th uh, in, in case in case of get method we basically do not have any uh, body as you can see the body is completely empty we have uh, queries that uh, is basically typed in the url along with the url so i will tell you about this more in future so i'm going to send it to get all the degrees so here we have got all the degrees so like the degrees that we have recently created the degree 20 and the degree 10 are also being updated so this is basically collecting the data from the database 
then going to um, uh, active degrees so to for knowing wh what are the active degrees and i'm going to use the new token and then run it i'm uh, here right now uh, the degrees with the id 4 5 6 7 8 9 are active then for the inactive press the token send it and here we have two inactive degrees so guys this is how uh, you can uh, ch check this i mean test it now now coming to the query so here right now um, the um, the functioning of it is uh, get degree by id so basically i'm going to get the information of a particular degree using the id of that particular degree so i just replace the token now right now if i click on send right now in the url it is degree one so i'm supposed to get the one so right now i have got the degree one data so let's check it out so degree name is supposed to be bll let's go to the database so degree name one is bll so it works fine now right now in case if you wish to get the degree name of uh, let's say 10 which we basically don't have so this is the query so that we are giving so we want 10 so right now we get, get the uh, success as false with a message degree id is not found so now if we give it 9 we are supposed to get the id that we have recently created here you go then the rest are to be done in the same way then the update request uh, we you are using put method so degree update degree update so for this we basically have to update we can update uh, our degrees so let's say i want i uh, here the first one i will have to type uh, the id for which uh, which uh, degree i am go i wish to update then uh, type the uh, name saying degree 9 or uh, let's say it was okay so and then send okay sorry I, I basically forgot to replace the token so they are forbidding me to get in now it is supposed to work So here the gts degree is successfully updated so so now let's go to the database uh rerun it to get the updated one so here you can see my the name is changed so i basically had a y at the ending that was a spelling mistake and i have just corrected it using the degree update now let's go to the next one degree name existing already so uh if we send it okay i am doing the same mistake again okay um okay still it is forbidden so like a status over here it says you yeah, forbidden then send it again yeah degree already exists so this is how you do the rest and let's move to the uh, delete request so now using delete request you can delete any any degree using the using their id so let's say i wish to delete the eighth degree with a uh, i'm going to update the token and then click on send so we get a success message uh true and uh, the degree deleted successfully now if you go to the database right now we are supposed to have the degree id 8 but as we have deleted it it is not supposed to be when i run it so here the degree 8 is vanished so it is being deleted basically then we have uh, um, role invalid so here um, basically by typing invalid id so the id is minus one so normally it's a common sense that a id cannot be minus one okay sorry i i 
my token is empty so there is unable to run it so, auth token okay and then send it okay the port number also is wrong so uh, we will have to basically make sure that our port number and the token is updated to get um, make to make the program to run so here we get the degree id is invalid then role id not found so that is basically typing an id which is not which does not actually exist in the database like 111 that does not exist in the database then click on send okay the port number seems to So here we are getting uh, the success message is false and the degree id does not exist i mean the did not id is not found so guys this is how you test the rest api in postman thank you guys if you have liked the video then hit the like button goodbye meet you in the next video